Hello everybody, this is Ravinda Dastikup welcoming you all for the session on Edge Computing. Before getting into the session, let me put some words on why we started this particular video series. I have been working as a placement officer in SDMCT Dharwad for quite some time, nearly 10 years. And one of the persistent and very consistent remarks given by panel members who conduct campus hiring is this. Your students are not found to be interactive during our pre-placement sessions. Number two, your students are not aware about contemporary issues, either political or social or technological, which will help them to become more active and participative in sessions like group discussions and personal interviews. Taking this feedback as a serious input, we started this particular series of sessions. So in our college, we conduct a two hour session in the evenings for a selected students and conduct those sessions in person sessions. In those sessions, we cover topics such as cloud computing, edge computing, IoT and others. And these are the recorded sessions of the same events that we conduct for our students. The idea and hope is that the things that which have helped our students might also help you others. The previously published videos in the series include autonomous things and artificial intelligence. You can access them at the address given below. Now let us get into the topic of today's session, Edge Computing. We have a very simple and short agenda. First we explain why Edge Computing, what makes it necessary to have Edge Computing, what is Edge Computing, how it is defined and understood, and the features of Edge Computing, and the advantage that we derive once we have ed Edge Computing, and the evolution of edge computing, how did it start and how is it evolving and finally we make a brief conclusion on edge computing. Why do we need edge computing? The answer is very simple, the unprecedented growth in the following areas. The domain of internet of things is growing, that means more and more people are installing more and more smarter devices across the globe. The second one, the wide penetration of wireless networks. Wireless networks are making part and parcel of every building, every apartment, every establishment, be it whether it's a railway station or a corporate office and like. And the number of edge devices as a part of Internet of Things. And finally, the huge amount of data that is generated from edge, including Internet of Things and wireless networks and edge devices. This growth which is happening very rapidly is causing a lot of strain on the existing computing models such as cloud computing and others. The solution is going to be found in another technology called edge computing. In today's world, cloud computing has become a dominant model of building and consuming services. The data center based cloud computing model is always centralized and this centralized processing model uploads all the data to the cloud data center through the network and leverages its supercomputing power to solve the computing and storage problems which enables the cloud services to create economic benefits. In this case of unprecedented growth, the centralized processing mode based on cloud computing is not sufficient enough to handle the data generated by the edge. Now let us consider the limitations of cloud computing which hinder the progress of IoT one by one. The first limitation is latency. Latency is the time it takes for a request to go from the client to the server and back to the client. See in the context of cloud computing, a client could be anywhere in the globe but if the data center is very away from the client then it takes a lot of time before the request reaches the data center and the response comes back to the end user. And this delay is called latency. Novel applications in the IoT scenario have high real-time requirements. They cannot wait for this latency. In the traditional cloud computing model, applications send data to the data center and obtain a response which increases the system latency. For example, high-speed autonomous driving vehicles require milliseconds to respond. Serious consequences will occur once the system latency exceeds expectation due to network challenges. The second limiting factor of cloud computing is bandwidth. Transmitting large amounts of data generated by edge devices to the cloud in a real-time manner will cause great pressure on the network bandwidth. 
For instance, Boeing 787 generates more than 5 GB of data of per second, but bandwidth between an aircraft and satellite is insufficient to support real-time transmission. The third limitation of cloud computing is the availability of services. As more and more internet services are deployed on the cloud, the availability of these services has become an integral part of our daily life. For example, smartphones users who get used to voice-based services such as Siri will feel frustrated if the service is unavailable even for a short period of time. Therefore, it is a big challenge for cloud service providers to keep 24 by 7 promise all the time. Another important limitation of cloud computing is the way energy consumed. Data centers consume a lot of energy. According to a research reports, the energy consumption of all data centers will increase by 4% by 2020, reaching billions of kilowatt hours. It is an environmental challenge. With the increasing amount of computation and transmission, energy consumption will become a bottleneck restricting the development of cloud computing centers and also the services. Another serious limitation which affects each one of us is about security and privacy. Information security is protecting data according to a specific policy and information privacy is protecting personal data according to a policy defined by the person it pertains to. Data and the interconnection of thousands of households are closely related to user lives. For example, indoor cameras transmitting video data from house to the cloud will increase the risk of leaking users' private information. With the enforcement of European Union's General Data Protection Regulation GDPR, data security and privacy issues have become more important for cloud computing companies. Even in India, we have a Data Empowerment Act called DEPA. We have listed a set of limitations of cloud computing and these limitations makes it unsuitable model for developing IoT applications which are acceptable by all stakeholders. Hence we need to change our approach and develop a new model and this newly developed model which solves some of these issues is called edge model. The challenges posed by cloud computing have created a new need and this has led to the development of edge computing which calls for processing the data at the edge of the network, not in the data center. It has developed rapidly since 2014 with the potential to reduce latency and bandwidth charges, address the limitation of computing capability of cloud data center, and finally increase availability as well as protect data privacy and security. The new solution is the edge computing. Edge computing is a new paradigm in which the resources of an edge server are placed at the edge of the internet in close proximity to mobile devices, sensors, end users and the emerging IoT. In edge computing, there is no need to move to and from cloud data center, either the processes or the data or the computing. Now let us look at the edge computing basics. The fundamental thing in edge computing is the edge. Edge is defined as any computing and network resource along the path between data sources and the cloud data centers and edge is a continuum. The edge of the internet is a unique place. As you can see in the picture on the right side, edge is between the devices which are connected such as internet of things and the cloud which is at the data center. In the edge computing, edge is located usually just one hop away from associated end devices. It offers ideal placement for low latency offload infrastructure to support emerging applications such as augmented reality, public safety, connected and autonomous driving, smart manufacturing and healthcare. On the right side in the picture you can see cloud is at the top and edge no nodes come between edge devices. This collection of devices get power from the edge nodes which in turn gets power from the cloud computing and edge nodes act as an intermediate between the cloud and the edge devices. In the edge computing model, the edge is an optimal site for aggregating, analyzing and distilling bandwidth hungry sensor data from devices such as video cameras. On the picture right side you can see edge computing allows data from internet of things to be analyzed at the 
edge of the network before being sent to data center or cloud. Edge conducts local processing at edge gateway and this data after processing goes to cloud computing. Similarly, the data which is actually brought down from cloud is processed at these edges. The edge computing refers to the enabling technologies allowing computation to be performed at the edge of the network on downstream data on behalf of the cloud services and upstream data on behalf of IoT services. In effect, edge computing provides a location where the processes is done for the data collected by IoT devices upstream and it also provides a location for the data procured from the cloud that is downstream. The paradigm of edge computing is known by other names also. Terms such as cloudlets, micro data centers and fog have been used in the literature to refer to these types of small edge located computing hardware. They all represent counterpoints to the themes of consolidation and massive data centers that have dominated discourse in cloud computing. While cloud computing is all about centralizing, edge computing is all about distributing the computing power. Now let us consider the functionalities provided by the edge computing model. The edge functions can be illustrated as follows. Edge computing has two way computing stream. One is from devices to the cloud which is called upstream and the other is from the cloud to devices called downstream. In the edge computing paradigm, end devices not only are data consumers but they also serve as data producers. At the edge, things can not only request service and content from the cloud, but they can also perform computing tasks from the cloud. Edge can perform computing, offloading data, data storage, caching and processing, as well as distribute requests and deliver services from the cloud to the user. Now let us explore edge computing model. The functions that can be performed at the edge and how edge computing fits in today's cloud computing model can be best understood through a typical three-tier edge computing model which is shown below. A three-tier edge computing model can be abstracted as follows. Okay. A typical three-tier edge computing model consists of IoT, devices, edge and the cloud and there is an interaction between all of them. IoT devices collect lot of data and get this data processed at the edge. Similarly, edge processes lot many data, we download it from the cloud and passes it on to IoT. The first component in a three-tier edge computing model is the edge. Edge includes connected and autonomous vehicles, cellular tower, gateway and edge servers requires the huge computing and storage capabilities of the cloud to complete complex tasks. The protocols between IoT and Edge usually have the characteristics of low power consumption and short distance while the protocols between Edge and the cloud have large throughput and high speed. The Ethernet, optical fibers and the coming 5G are the preferred communication protocols between edge and the cloud. Now that we have a new model in edge computing, let us compare it with existing cloud computing model and check how some of the challenges posed by cloud computing is solved by edge cloud computing. One of the most important thing that we should remember while comparing edge computing and cloud computing models is that Edge computing and cloud computing are not substituted relationships, rather they are complementary to each other. The ubiquity of smart devices and rapid development of modern virtualization and cloud computing technologies have brought edge computing to the foreground, defining a new era in cloud computing. Edge computing needs powerful computing power and massive storage support of cloud computing center and the cloud computing on the other hand also needs the edge computing model to process massive data and privacy of data. Now let us look at the advantages provided by edge computing over cloud computing. Edge computing has several obvious advantages. First of that is a large amount of temporary data are processed at the edge of the network. 
but not all of it is uploaded to the cloud which greatly reduces the pressure on the network bandwidth and data center power consumption. The second obvious advantage of edge computing is data processing near the data producers does not require the res response of the cloud computing center through the network which greatly reduces the system latency and enhances the service response capability. And finally and most importantly edge computing stores users private data on the edge devices instead of uploading it which reduces the risk of network data leakage and helps the companies and corporations to guarantee a higher degree of data privacy and data security. Now let us look at edge computing evolution. Where did it origin and how did it develop and how it has become what it is today. The idea of edge computing came into public domain in the year 2012. At that time it was called fog computing and also called cloud sea computing. But the concept was further developed and started being called by the name edge computing in 2013. And it, thereafter it saw a rapid growth in 2015 through 2018. It saw many developments and finally ended up as a mainstream as it is today. Now is the time to make a conclusion. Edge computing has become a mainstream computing today. IoT devices are powered by edge computing paradigm. Edge computing is very promising and has found many useful applications in our day-to-day -day life as well as in industry. However, there are many challenges still left to be faced by the community, ranging from fundamental technologies to novel applications, scenarios and potential business models. However, the confidence among the industrialists and business people is that eventually edge computing will tackle these issues and become much more powerful and much more relevant in our day-to-day -day life. The purpose of this presentation was to give you a brief introduction to the emerging area of edge computing. Edge computing is becoming a mainstream today and a brief understanding of that is must for a, every emerging engineering student and not only for engineering student even for a layman. So in case you have any suggestion to make or a topic to be covered in my later presentation kindly do contact me at the following addresses you can also access the previous presentation in the addresses given in this page